Leg spin bowlers are generally free spirits. And to be a free spirit, you need to be able to do many different things. So here are five different leg spin variations. As a leg spinner, our greatest weapon is that we can turn the ball and get a lot of drift and flight. But it is also important to try and beat the batsman with various deliveries. This is why variations are so important. Number one, it's not really a variation per se, but it's a stock delivery. We need to know how to do our normal delivery before we can move on to the rest. Looking to grip the ball between these three fingers, trying to keep the thumb off the ball, we want the ball to be shown to the batsman at all times, because this promotes good movement through the ball. Trying to get nice and over with the ball angled towards where your first slip would be, to a right-handed batsman as a right-handed bow. This is to help the ball get turn on it, which is gonna in turn help you get drift, dip, and bounce, which is massive weapons, especially that you generally get more evolutions than a finger spin bowler. Variation number two, the top spinner. This is a ball that generally bounces more and maybe gets a bit more dip. It is very effective when a batsman is looking to play cross back shots against you, especially off the front foot. Looking to bowl it, your palm and the ball is now going to face square of you and away from the batter. And this is going to promote that the seam is more upright and direct to the batter. This is going to allow it to dip and bounce off the pitch. The more revs you get on it, the more purchase you're going to get off the deck. Keep working hard here and try and keep your action as close to your leg spin action as possible by just turning the hand sideways through the action itself. Number three, and what could potentially be one of the leg spinner's favorite variations. This is the one that turns the other way. It is called the googie. For this ball, the grip and everything is going to stay the same. The only thing that changes, instead of the ball facing directly towards the batsman, the batsman will now see the back of your hand. This is to help promote that your fingers work over the ball and start turning it the other way. Important with this is sometimes in your action you need to get your arm and release from a bit of a higher point to allow the hand to get through the ball to get the revs to allow it to turn more. Because at the end of the day, the turn is what's going to be dangerous and that's what you want. Seen as though we're speaking about variations, we have different tiered membership levels. If you're a tier three member, you can get one video analysis per month. This video analysis is open to batting or bowling and can potentially help you score more runs or take more runs. Variation number four is the slider. This is the ball that goes on and stays straight with a little bit of a skid. This is the ball you use once you set a batsman up for the ball turning away and now you're trying to hit the front leg or hit the stumps as your wicket take in mode. For this, you're gonna have three fingers on the ball, thumb and middle finger, compressing the ball between, and then your index finger on top. From here, as you're bowling the ball, you're gonna try and push your palm forward and let the ball come out. This is gonna stop the revs on the ball, but also make the ball go more sideways. And from there, it's gonna hit the deck and slide onto the basin, and that is the danger in this ball. Variation number five, and definitely the most difficult out of all the variations we've spoken so far. It's called the flipper. This is a ball that comes out of the hand from the same direction as the top spinner, but instead of going over the ball, you're looking to click your ring finger under the ball. This is gonna cause the ball to have backspin and then not bounce. Also skims off the surface nice and quickly, but making sure that your fingers are nice and on the ball, all four fingers, and then kicking under the ball with the ring finger so that you get that nice backward spin with a good seam presentation. Your mode of the smithsaw here is definitely LBW or bold. You are looking to hit the stumps as often as possible with this ball. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the info as soon as it releases. If you want to learn how to pull the googly in a step-by-step -step process, please check this video out over here.